In this illustration, we will discuss about simultaneous oscillations of two pendulums. Here we are given that the figure shows two pendulums A and B, which are of length L and L by 4. Uh, they are released from rest from the position shown in figure. We are required to calculate the time instant when the two strings become parallel for the first time. Here uh, we need to map the oscillations of these two pendulums on a circle. Here we can write if we map both simple harmonic motions on a circle, we can see their uh, angular frequency of oscillations will be omega 1 for a will be root of uh, g by l. And omega 2 for the pendulum B, we can write it as root of G by L by 4. So, this will be twice of root G by L. Here, if we map the two SHMs on a circle, here we can see both of these SHMs are having same angular amplitude theta. So, we can map them on same circle. And A is starting from its one extreme and B is starting from its other extreme. So, when A is moving in this direction, B is moving in this direction, we can see B starts moving with an angular speed omega 2 and on circle A starts moving with angular speed omega 1. Here we can see B is moving at twice the angular speed. So, say somewhere here when A reaches on the same line, B also reaches here. So, we can see the angular displacement of B will be here alpha 2 on circle. For A, if this angle is alpha 1, these are the phase changes in pendulums SHM of A as well as that of B. So, at this point the two strings will be parallel and at this point A is going in this direction, B is going in this direction. So, somewhere on the left side of uh, the mean position they are meeting where A is located. So, in this situation say if both starts at t equal to 0 and at time t, they are on the same uh, angular position with respect to this vertical position we can say. If after time t, both the strings become parallel, when the two pendulums would be crossing each other, here we can write the value of t is alpha 1 by omega 1 is equals to alpha 2 by omega 2. So, here we can also write it as alpha 1 plus alpha 2 by omega 1 plus omega 2. So, here alpha 1 plus alpha 2 in the situation is pi divided by omega 1 plus omega 2 is 3 times root of g by l. So, the result of time we are getting is pi by 3 root of l by g that is the final result of this problem.